Hello everyone, my name is Erin and I'm currently the chair of the Southern Branch of the Irish Patchwork Society. In 2015 we started our Block of the Month project uh, with the quilt that I'm going to show you uh, how to make one of the blocks here. It's been my project this summer to go back and create these slideshow presentations and post them onto the internet um, that I didn't do last year when um, the month came along. So um, everybody has a chance to learn how to make these blocks. Um, this block is the November 2015 block and it is the inverted star. And it looks like this here. If you need some practice with half square triangles, this is going to be an excellent block for you to uh, work on. And um, yeah, so let's get started. For your cutting instructions, you're going for your background fabric. And in my example, that background fabric is going to be white. Um, you're going to cut four two and a half inch squares. 12 three inch squares, one four and a half inch square, and then from your print fabrics, um, and this can be just scraps that you have around, um, or from fat quarters or whatever you have, you're going to cut four two and a half inch squares and 12 three inch squares. So you're going to be making some half square triangles, and you can use um, any method you prefer, but this is the way I prefer. Using a marking pen of choice, you're going to draw, draw a diagonal line from corner to corner on the three inch squares. Once you do that, you're going to layer those uh, background squares onto the print squares right sides together and sew a quarter of an inch away on both sides of that drawn line. Once you do that, you're going to cut your squares in half, making a total of 24 units. You're going to press them open and trim them to two and a half inches square. So whatever method you use to make your half square triangles, um, cut them to two and a half inches square. Once you do that, you're going to arrange your patchwork pieces as shown. There's going to be a total of uh, six smaller squares uh, that makes up each row and each column. You'll notice that um, the solids two and a half inch square uh, print fabrics and solid fabrics uh, of the background fabric um, are all in the um, four outside corner units. Um, the background fabric is completely all in the corner and then um, you'll see just on the inside you'll see the solid squares there. And then I like to take a photo for reference when I get um, all of these fabrics together. Sometimes when I sew them together it can get uh, mixed up and kind of confused. So I like to take just a photo for reference with my uh, smartphone. And then working in groups of four you're going to start sewing into pairs. Um, so basically what I'm going to try and end up with is uh, a nine patch that I can sew together. Um, so I'm going to sew the first two and the second uh, rows to um, and then also end up sewing those together. So in this example, um, in the top left, you have a white square and then a solid navy square, and then that sort of navy and green dotted fabric, and then uh, a white floral. Um, I'll start by sewing the each row of those into pairs, and then I'll sew those pairs together. So this is just where you sew those pairs into groups of four. And uh, with this, uh, with this block, I found that pressing open the seams uh, helps reduce the bulk because there's just going to be a lot of bulk everywhere here <laughs> with all of these half square triangles. Um, so once you have it at this stage, you're just going to treat it as a nine patch and sew them into rows. And then you're going to um, alternate the um, direction of pressing your uh, units here just so you can nest your seams. And then once you have that, you're going to be able to sew your rows together and your final um, block will look like this. Any questions? You can contact me at corkips at gmail.com. Um, you can found, find the downloadable materials for this block and all of the blocks of our Block of the Month project at www.ipscork.com. And you'll find a tab for the Block of the Month project um, at the top of our page. Um, again, don't hesitate to contact me if you have questions, and we'll see you next month.